Gaming Bolt presents 16 rumored games of E3 2018. Every year, E3 brings hope and prosperity, the promise of something great to look forward to in the future. That means for every confirmed appearance, we speculate about long-awaited titles that'll finally be announced. While none of these are outright guaranteed to appear, hope is still a valuable commodity, so let's take a look at 16 rumored games for E3 2018. Rocksteady's Next Game Rumors of a new Batman and a Superman game have been going on for quite a while now. It's been almost three years since Batman Arkham Knight came out, and it's no secret that Rocksteady are working on a new game. The team has been teasing their next game on Twitter, and only time will tell what the game is about. Perhaps E3 2018 is the right place to reveal whatever the team is working on. Shadows Die Twice Teased last year during the Game Awards, Shadows Die Twice immediately drew attention for being a From Software game. Given its macabre showing, we all assumed the obvious, Bloodborne 2. And while that's a rumor that pops up every now and then, including before last year's E3, one would assume that this is a brand new IP. Either way, rumors indicate that it'll have a big showing at a presser, though which one is still a mystery. Borderlands 3 So, we begin the process of dissecting the catalog of upcoming leaked releases from Walmart Canada. Rage 2 has been confirmed, and we've known that its post-apocalyptic open-world shooting inspiration Borderlands 3 has been in development for some time. One would assume that some news, even if it's just the announcement of its existence, is coming at E3 2018, but hey, Randy Pitchford has disappointed us before, so we'll see. Bluepoint Games Next Remake Bluepoint Games has already garnered plenty of recognition this year for its work on Shadow of the Colossus for PS4. While the developer isn't working on an original game, it has confirmed that another remake is in the works. Furthermore, this title will be, quote, a bit bigger than Shadow of the Colossus, so the sky's the limit on what that could be. Splinter Cell Sam Fisher in Ghost Recon Wildlands, Michael Ironside returning to voice the character, numerous teases from Ubisoft, and of course, those ever-important Walmart Canada leaks. Honestly, if a new Splinter Cell isn't announced, we'd be shocked. The current look for Fisher seems to indicate an older veteran as opposed to Blacklist, and quite frankly, we couldn't be more excited. Now we just need that confirmation from Ubisoft. Halo 6 343 Industries has been quite busy adding content to Halo 5, improving Halo the Master Chief Collection, and supporting Halo Wars 2. It's constantly put off mentioning when the next big Halo will be announced, reassuring fans that work is ongoing. Given the poor reception to Halo 5's campaign, mixed with the excellent reputation of its multiplayer and post-launch support, you have to wonder where Halo 6 could possibly be, and whether that place is E3. Gears of War 5 Aside from leaked retailer listings which we're tired of referencing, The Coalition has been another studio quietly working in the background for Microsoft. Gears of War 4 launched in October 2016 and isn't really that old. However, Xbox boss Phil Spencer has talked about seeing quote, wonderful things from the studio and indirectly confirmed that there will be a future Gears of War. It may seem like a retread of past E3 events with Halo and Gears of War, but hey, that's Microsoft for you. Respawn's Star Wars title Respawn Entertainment has done a lot to support Titanfall 2 despite the game's average sales. While we do know that it's working on a Star Wars title, EA confirmed it wouldn't likely be out until the 2020 fiscal year, so essentially by March 2020. This year's EA Play wouldn't be the worst time to tease it, but with EA owning Respawn, it may just do that next year to avoid taking any attention away from other releases. We can still hope though. Pokemon Switch Pokemon will be making its debut on the Nintendo Switch at some point in the future, but will it be at E3? Here's the kicker. Game Freak's Junichi Masuda told fans at a recent Pokemon Center store event to pick up a Switch if they didn't own it already. Noted insider Emily Rogers also reconfirmed from sources that a Pokemon game will release in 2018, but didn't say whether it was a core game, a spin-off, a remake, or a Gen 8 title. Regardless, Nintendo's E3 Direct should have all the answers. Doom 2 While it seems unlikely given all the promotion happening around Rage 2, Doom 2 still feels very likely. Bethesda's Pete Hines dropped some pretty subtle hints in a recent interview. With how successful its predecessor has been and the clamoring over more story-centric demon killing, why wouldn't there be a sequel? 
It's not like we've heard anything from id Software since then, and no, Quake Champions does not count. Watch Dogs 3 Activating Twitter accounts with cryptic teases seems to be the in thing this E3 season, and Ubisoft's Watch Dogs franchise is no different. Assassin's Creed will be taking a break this year following the success of Origins, so it only makes sense for another open world Ubisoft franchise to hog the autumn spotlight. For now, all we have are teases, but something Watch Dogs related should be coming at E3, if not right afterwards. Prey DLC Standalone Expansion Is Prey heading to the moon? Various teases have indicated as much, though they've gone dark as quickly as they emerged. For its part, Prey was actually a very fun experience, and it could benefit from a dishonored, Death of the Outsider-like standalone expansion. Of course, any DLC would be great, if only to properly continue Morgan Yu's unfortunate tale. Starfield So, while Rage 2 is a thing, and Arcane may have some new Prey content, what has Bethesda Game Studios been up to? Fallout 4 director Todd Howard has discussed the newer projects in development, one of which uses the studio's older animation system while the other utilizes a new system. Starfield has long been a rumored title, but could the game with the older animation system be it? Regardless, Bethesda has to announce something big at E3. It's then or never, or potentially the next E3. Fable 4 Playground Games better known for the Forza Horizon series, has been making big plans. It recently opened a new studio and confirmed the development of an open-world action RPG. A second studio was subsequently opened with 200 employees, and it didn't take long before rumors emerged about its unannounced game being a new Fable. Unlike Fable Legends, though, this could very well be a return to the time-tested Fable formula. Will it actually appear at E3 2018? That's the real question. The Next Onimusha one of Capcom's most beloved cult classic properties, Onimusha, may be getting a new release of some sort very soon. According to Reset Era, Capcom seems to have filed for a trademark for a brand in multiple regions around the world, indicating that it is a brand they intend to use for commercial purposes sometime soon. While it may be tempting to assume a full-fledged Onimusha revival is coming, it's also important to temper those expectations. It could just, for example, be a re-release, a remaster, or a remake. It could even be a new mobile game. Capcom's been known to do that sort of thing in the past. Or just Onimusha merchandise, all of which would entail a new trademark filing. You never know. Still, this indicates that Capcom is still viewing the brand as an active property. That alone should be cause for celebration and hope for Onimusha, more than anything else. Just Cause 4 Finally, as per Walmart Canada's leaked listings, yeah we know, we have Just Cause 4. Avalanche Studios' open-world action-adventure franchise would have been obvious for a follow-up even without the leak. However, with the confirmation that it's co-developing Rage 2 with id Software, perhaps Just Cause 4 is on a lower priority tier. Time will tell. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.